This project is about dust. Airborne dust that blows off the beaches of the Williston Reservoir. There's a long history of dust monitoring and mitigation on the reservoir. This is Chucho Environmental's eighth year leading the project. Every spring, this is our job. Sekidani Nation is such a remote and beautiful place. The dust storms can be intense. This is what we monitor. There's nothing easy about deploying these machines at this time of year. The terrain is unforgiving. The weather can be harsh. But our team is comfortable here. Airborne dust is an ongoing problem. It is a health concern. We monitor the trends using the best available technology that can function in these harsh environments. The dust source beaches are nearly endless. The storms are often violent and awful for the community of Seike Dene, and they can arise just about any time when the water is not at full pool. Our partner company, Chucho Industries, implements all manner of mitigation controls in an attempt to stop these dust events, or at least control them. Chucho Environmental's role in this project is about monitoring the long-term dust levels in this valley in order to evaluate the effectiveness of that mitigation. The dust monitoring stations are located in spots that are difficult to access. In April, the main roads are open. The dust source beaches of the reservoir are fully exposed. But the smaller access roads, these beaches, are typically still covered in snow. This year we're using an Argo to get through all the rotten snow on the access roads. The Argo is a great option for getting us and our equipment down to the sites, but it's still quite the mission. We often encounter obstacles along the way, but we're prepared for that. We have the right safety gear and equipment to make it work. This year, at this site, it's an endless wall of blowdown. Sometimes being an environmental scientist means you also need to wield the chainsaw. But just like anything else, we can get through it. The monitoring sites are specifically selected in order to provide the best unbiased sample of airshed conditions in the local area. This means that the equipment is exposed to the very harsh conditions that arise during dust events. Once we are on site, we begin the process of setting everything up. Everything that we deploy is solar powered. The pumps in the air monitors have a large current draw, so they need a couple large panels to keep the batteries charged. The meteorology equipment is less demanding, so we can get away with a smaller solar setup. For the air sampler, two 100 amp hour batteries are wired up in parallel along with the solar panels into a charge controller. The air sampler we're using, the e-sampler, is perfectly suited to this type of fence line, beach to beach comparison. These machines use forward laser light scattering to measure the concentration of dust in the air. All of the MET equipment is mounted to a small pole. This includes the solar panel, the enclosure, and the equipment itself. The MET tower must be staked and guide wired into the ground since it sits in such a windy area. We are deploying 14 of these sites around the reservoir. The 
e-sampler sits on its own tripod. E-samplers need to be strictly calibrated. The first step is flow calibration. We have to ensure that it's flowing two liters per minute. Once fully operational, the data are measured at one second intervals and recorded as a five minute average. The CR1000 data logger sits inside the enclosure and all of the wiring from the meteorology equipment is fed into that box. These instruments function on a simple principle, but in general, they're sending a voltage signal down the wire that's connected to the data logger. The data logger has a bit of programming on it that knows how to interpret that signal. The RM Young wind vane anemometer combo is the industry standard. It has both sensors built into one unit. You will see this particular instrument at roadside weather monitoring stations, on the top of chairlifts, at ski hills, and many other places where the weather is monitored. Precipitation is measured using a tipping bucket rain gauge. To download the data, we connect the computer to the data logger using an RS-232 serial cable to USB adapter. The completed site is a well-spaced, nicely situated set of equipment that will wait here recording the ambient conditions until we visit the site again to download the data. After setup, we return to the site weekly in order to download the data and bring it back to the lab for analysis. Generally, we observe many small-scale events on a weekly basis and fewer but high-intensity events on a monthly basis. Unfortunately, the long-term trend does not appear to show a decreasing signal in dust emissions. There are local areas where dust emissions are minimized largely due to the efforts that Chucho Industries puts into mitigation. Working with Chucho Industries, we will continue to collaborate on dust mitigation here in the Williston Reservoir. We will continue to monitor the dust every spring. This is our job. My name is Stefan Friesen. I'm an environmental technician with Chucho Environmental. My name is Morgan Husserl. I'm an environmental scientist with Chucho Environmental. My name is Tim Feneff, and I'm an environmental scientist with Chucho Environmental.